Hi lovies, back in November 2023, I was as sick as a dog for almost a month. I had to do my protein treatment that was past due and I had no energy to keep going back and forth in the shower. I had to find an alternative way to do my protein treatment. Let me just walk you through how that day went because I got to share this with you. If you could hear it, I am still recovering from being sick. I had a very bad respiratory infection. I've been on medications for it. My hair has been suffering because I have not had enough energy to wash my hair at all. <coughs> Excuse me. So I also lost my voice. I couldn't record anything for you guys. Today, I am trying to wash my hair because I finally have the energy to do so and I just want to take you guys along with me. So it's going to be a little bit different from what I usually do because I'm not trying to keep water on my hair for too long just because I'm still sick. I'm going to do a protein treatment on my dry hair and once I go in the shower, I'm just gonna take care of my deep conditioning in there for probably five to 10 minutes. That's the most I could do today. At least I deep condition, right? I'm going to do that. Also, I don't think I'm going to air dry my hair just because of the way I'm feeling right now still. I am most likely gonna blow dry my hair and try to get the water out of my hair as soon as possible. Combining your oils to your primary protein product is an alternative way you can do your protein treatment on wash day to get the best of both worlds, especially when running low on time or if you're sick like a dog with no energy just like me. On that day, I added black Haitian castor oil, avocado oil, and olive oil to an old favorite protein conditioner I had as the mega growth protein conditioner made by Perfective, the one you're seeing here. I am not adding coconut oil because right now it's in its solidified state due to the cold winter weather and I did not feel like melting it on top of the stove top. Typically when I need to do a protein treatment and an oil treatment on the same wash day, I would do them separately. However, I would start with my hot oil treatment first, then do my protein treatment after I shampoo. That would require a few trips to the shower to rinse which I couldn't have done that day. <laughs> because I was sick. So we're combining both treatments and expecting great results, hopefully. I have never added oils to my Maker Growth Protein Deep Conditioner ever. Just FYI, this is the protein treatment I was using when I first started my healthy hair care journey. It is a great product to have. If you ever try it, let me know in the comments below and tell me if your hair loves it or not. Since we're on that subject, let me tell you quickly why I love these three oils. Castor oil has something called ricinoleic acid. It's a fatty acid that's in there. It promotes hair growth by nourishing the hair follicles. It's a natural conditioner that hydrates and strengthens your strength, preventing breakage and split ends. Guys, castor oil, when I use it, automatically after using it, I could feel a change in the strength of my hair, literally. Second, we have the avocado oil. So avocado oil is rich. It's packed in nutrients. So we're talking about vitamins A, E, and D. It moisturizes and nourishes your hair, leaving it silky and manageable. It's also an excellent choice for dry or damaged hair, offering deep hydration and restoring vitality of your hair. Third, we have olive oil. Olive oil is a powerhouse of antioxidants and omega-3 fatty acids. It adds shines, tames your frizz, and repairs damaged hair. I would say it's like a spa treatment for your hair strands, leaving them soft, smooth, and resilient. I like to do, again, you know that if you watch my channel, everything is an in section that ensures that all of my strands are embedded in the treatment. Therefore, we do not leave any hair behind. Let me quickly run you through what I did so far while talking about the oils. First of all, I sectioned my hair in four sections, then I slightly spritzed some water on it. Why? Well, I find that adding a little bit of water on dry hair makes products application or spreading more efficient, easier, and faster. It also reduces the amount of product I use. So it's a win-win situation, right? Next up, I let the product do its thing on my hair for about 20 to 30 minutes with at least two plastic caps before I rinse it.
The exception that day was I did not detangle my hair prior to applying the protein plus oil treatment. During the protein treatment application, I used my fingers to remove any knots or tangles I felt at the time. I then detangled my hair with the comb after the 20 to 30 minute mark. A tip for you my love is, if your hair is too weak or damaged, this method of detangling may not work for you. This is why I stress that you learn your hair and listen to it as much as possible. You can try something I say, but please stop doing it if it does not work for you. A healthy hair care journey is a learning journey with bumps on the road. You learn from the bump and start again for the better. Do not ever give up. That's my tip for you. Anyways, this treatment gave my hair enough slip for me to be able to detangle it with a comb without any issues. As you can see, my hair was not super wet. It was just a perfect state to detangle it. I kept a plastic cap on the sections that are not detangled yet to keep in the moisture so it does not dry out and make detangling hard. I learned over the years that my hair hates being detangled completely dry, so I do not do it anymore. By the way, if you want to know a little bit more about me, Cassie, who's a silly girl <laughs> you can follow me on instagram and tiktok at cassie's hair care i update my stories over there on those socials all the time so you'll learn more about me so far i could say if ever i don't have time then and i have to do a protein treatment then i could just combine the protein treatment with the hot oil treatment together i think that would be probably another way i do things i'm sorry i will not be taking you guys along with me in the shower it's just it's a lot for your girl right now <laughs> i can't do it so bear with me maybe on the next wash day then i'll let you guys see the hair so until then i'm gonna finish the tingling my hair and the next time i see you will be after i do my deep moisture treatment okay so this is what happened in the shower i lathered twice with the herbal essence shampoo the sulfate shampoo and um i use the shampoo first on the roots once I'm done with the first ladder, then the second one, I actually use it along the entire length of my hair just because I did the oil treatment. I have washed my hair in the past after I do an oil treatment and the ends still feel like sticky, not like washed properly. And when I smell it, it still still smell like the uh, castor oil. It's a pretty strong oil and it does great jobs, but the smell is not the best. So. <laughs> That's why I went ahead the second time and I, I lathered the entire length of my hair. And then second, I went in with the Giovanni Two Chic Ultra Moist Shampoo. This is a moisturizing shampoo and I just apply it to the roots and when I'm rinsing my hair, I just let it go along the entire length of my hair. My hair feels moisturized because I went in with uh, my uh, Cara Care to um, do a moisture treatment because of course I did a protein treatment so I have to do a deep moisture treatment afterwards. I did not apply any oil to it. For some reason, I feel like it performs even better when I add a little drop of oil. Well, maybe half a teaspoon of avocado oil I've been adding to it uh, and also it has more slip with a little bit of oil. Not too much, just a tiny bit. But besides that, Today was just without any oil. My hair feels super moisturized. The other part of wash day is going to be applying my leave-in. It's late and I'm trying to finish with this and I don't want the water to sit on my hair for too long. Air drying so I'm going to blow dry my hair and be done with wash day. So I am going to use the Olaplex number 6. I've been using this thing and I love it because it also works as a detangler on my hair chef's kiss i did wash my hair i left it in four sections it's still in four sections and that's how i'm gonna apply everything four sections it's the best thing you could do for your hair section section sections the only time i do not section my hair to do anything is when i am freshly freshly relaxed so i feel like there's no need to really section everything like when detangling and so on and when i'm washing it because the hair is so slick but whenever i start having those new growth that you see here your girls gotta apply everything and section. I have to detangle and section and so on for the people who have asked me about this. So we're going to use this. As I'm detangling my hair, it's drying so I don't have to blow dry my hair for a long period of time. See how wet it is right now? Guess what? By the time I finish detangling it, you'll see how it looks. See what I'm saying? My hair is not dry, okay? It's not dry. It's been seven minutes since I've been detangling it. It looks like as if it was dry already. 
It's going to be on warm right here and I'm going to put it on the lowest speed. So my hair is pretty much dry. What I'm going to do is apply this. So technically that's my little moisturizing and seal routine. We're going to add this. Doesn't weigh down the hair. Still, still fluffy. Okay, so I think that's a lot of hair. This, I think, is a combination of shedded hair. And I think I've had some breakage too. While I was blow drying my hair, again, I'm recovering and my energy started going away. I was getting tired. I think I started breaking my hair a little. This is three weeks of shedding plus breakage. That's a lot. Comment below. Let me know if I'm being a little bit dramatic. But I feel like that's a lot, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I did wash my hair. That's the most important thing because there's no way I could have went four weeks without washing my hair. I would have went crazy. So I had enough energy to finish it. So I am heading to sleep. I will see you guys on the next one. Ciao, ciao.